so what an excited, excited pair to interview. I mean, first I have Aisha Hines, who's, who's playing like this role of this woman that none of us really know. I mean, it's, it's like a short blurb that we all got when right. we were in school right. about what she did, and it, that was it. And we right. like, that's amazing. But now you're bringing Harriet Tubman exactly. to to the screen. Like, yeah. and, and, I mean, it's powerful. And, and, and you, I mean, what, just what an amazing year you've had, and you, you just continue, you know, blowing up with your series and now the Emmy Award. I mean, it's, just, it's, it's, a, it's a great pair, and I'm excited for season two. Thank you. We are too. Yeah, blessing on blessing on blessings on blessings. Yeah, so it really is. What's the weight of bringing this character to to the screen? I mean, um, there's so much historical stuff to unpack. Like, how do you? It, it's it's an overwhelming weight. Um, you talk about the little blurb that that we all got. Um, I, I definitely you know walked in knowing that Harriet Tubman was the famous conductor of the Underground Railroad, and I tell I walk out like the blurb has changed. Harriet Tubman, the baddest in the land. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Um, a mythical woman. When you really unpack who she really is, you learn there's so much that this season reveals about her and they do it in a way that is extraordinary and revolutionary. They give her a form where she takes an entire episode and basically hands you the playbook on how it is that I Harriet, you know, how it is that she lived this tub life, you know, and so she, here she was, you know, you learn about her as a as a young child and, you know, her spirit of resistance. You learn about her as a, as a woman, as a daughter, as a sister, as a friend, as a wife. You learn so much about her um, um, in this season and, and you walk away feeling so empowered because you see so many pieces of yourself, whether you're man, woman, black, white, you see so many pieces of yourself, which is important right now during these times to to feel like the spirit of Harriet Tubman is being distributed through this generation right now because we need that we need her we need that spirit we need a couple of people to rise up to be the baddest in the yeah. land ain't nobody scared of yeah. and as a director like how do you how do you bring like those things that's not known out for for this story. I know that's part of part of Misha and Joe's job, but uh, as a director, like how do you create this woman that is is fuzzy to everybody? Mm -hmm. yeah, but but we like how how did you take on that task? You know, in the most dynamic way possible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, and it's just it's whether or not it's giving her that really dynamic heroic entrance when she comes walking out and strapping. You know, mm -hmm. you come in swagging. You know, yeah. and it's like she deserves it. She just. Everything. It's like you pull out all the stops, and I think just dig and dig and dig and find every opportunity there is to just continue to 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 just to try to meet just who she is mm -hmm. and and give her that stage and platform, you know. And it's exciting, and it's just uh, first just getting out of the way of it, you know. Even within myself of wanting to be artistic and mm -hmm. and and you know cinematic it's yeah. like not a, it's just a matter of just kind of allowing it to really just inspire me on how to i think come to the conclusion of how i like to see it designed on a visual sense yeah well everybody's excited for this gotta, gotta ask how did courtney vance not get this Yo, <laughs> but, I'm telling you it was <laughs> underground yeah. season two the world we live in love this. Yeah. all right <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> in America, in America, they say I'm free. In America, in America, there is nothing in your past you cannot forge into a weapon. Harriet Tubman, don't be foolish. I aim to end this quick. Oh, baby,